something much slower, much faster. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually... Oh, here we go. Yep, good luck. So, I'm not sure why... Oh, there, there's the main timer. I see it. We're good. We're so good. All right, can I full screen this? There's a focus mode thing, isn't there? I forget. I think it's the big Z on the toolbar. Uh, Zen mode. Beautiful. Um, in hindsight, oh wait, no, I remember. This does show me the timer. If ever I manage to get into Ten, time trouble. Alright, so we're going to fight. Seven, six, Let's six, see. Five, four, three, two, this is a bit ambitious. Two, one. Ten, nine, eight. Ten, nine, nine. So I'm taking the top half of the board. Ten, nine. Apparently without nine, too much trouble. Ten, nine, eight, eight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's see, can ten, I bend around nine, here? Ten, Protect some cuts. Nine, eight, eight. Ten, nine, eight, eight. Okay, I think I just won. Ten, nine, eight. I'm pretty sure I'm winning this. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, five. Ten, nine, eight. Nine, so ten, unless he manages nine, to surround my eight, shape, I'm cool. Seven, six, five. Um. Ten, nine, eight, Oops, I am seven, dead. Six, five, five, I died. Ten, nine, yeah, we can eight, resign this. Seven, All right, well, that was fun. Okay. So that was a game against another double digit Q. Sure, why not? Um, if he's around, we'll have a rematch. If not, we'll just play whoever's up for a game. Yeah, I played a bit too risky that game, got a bit too greedy, got punished severely. Um, I just underestimated that attack. Alright, so what actually went wrong this game? Um, so I had to... Pro oh, hang on. Hold the phone. So maybe I needed to allow that and I just needed to connect here and then see if I could kill the white structure afterward. Um, my last move was super small here. What's our score estimator suggest? I know I should be counting this but whatever. Yeah, so it's suggesting that um, if I just am not bad at counting territory um, that that would have been okay. Like, if I play this, uh, yeah, black by 11 and a half, because it's assuming this stone's not alive. Now, whether or not that's a valid assumption, um, I don't know, I guess remains to be seen. I don't know what this, what am I seeking here? Let's see. Can I not see my own seek on the graph? I know it said estimated 10 seconds per move. I'm not sure if that's an actual thing or if that's just whatever. Maybe I should look in this down here. So we have custom matches. Here's a 9 by 9 30 minute game under Japanese rules. Um, I can't seem to find my own seek down there, so I'm not sure what it is that I'm seeking. Um... <laughs> Not that I expected to find it under long games either, but I kind of expected to see it somewhere so I could at least see. Or maybe this is a seek with kind of open parameters and it just matches everything that's kind of close. I don't know. Um, ranked, 9 by 9 no handicap. Oh, there it goes. That could have been fun. Let's see. 
13 by 13. I've never played on that. Um, against Shipwreck. I don't know, I think I either want to play some 9x9 Blitz or a little bit slower of a... <laughs> oh, there's a 3Q with a Handicap Automatic. Huh. Good God. Um, I think I would get absolutely demolished, but if neither of us finds any opponent, you know, maybe this is not such a bad thing. Despite the 13... Um, rank difference. I'm not sure. Um, I've not played handicapped games. Also, I'm curious, you know, if there could be handicaps a on a ranked game. I'm just curious how that might even work from a mathematic point of view. Um... Yeah, I'm not seeing my seek here anywhere. Oh, I can't accept some of these. I wonder why not. I wonder if some people don't want to accept my challenge because I have a high rating deviation. Or not an established ranking. I wonder if that could be a contributing factor. Um, maybe I just need to play whoever's open for a game. But I was hoping to do Blitz. And I was hoping to do it on a 9x9 board. So, I guess I'll hang out, try to get that. Maybe I'll mess with my overlay, and try to put, um, a, what's it, a Lee chess, chess board somewhere in the overlay. Just so there's something going on here. Yeah, I guess... I'm not sure where everybody is tonight. Maybe I should try downloading software for the other sites. Oh, hey, cool. You don't see my seek anywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, let me try creating again. I think I just hit the button. Um, I'm more than glad to play a game. Um, oh, you might be plus 9. I'm actually at 16Q. I think. Is there a way I can verify this? Also, I have no idea or recollection how I ever got that ranking. Um, let's see, can I get to my profile page somehow? I do have a profile somewhere. Oh, profile. Here it is. Um, so there's the raw number. Now, where's the Q thing? Where... What is this? I mean, yeah, this is over 80, so it's not an established rating and such. But, um, let's see. I don't play correspondence, so that's why this is, column is empty. So there's, like, correspondence, timed, blitz, and super blitz or whatever. Um, hmm. Maybe I just join a tournament. Although I'm up for... Oh, it says right next to my username. 17Q. Okay, yeah, you might be right. I somehow assumed that there was a different Q number for every one of these categories. Um, that's just how I would have thought of it. But, um, yeah, 17Q, sure. So all these things do affect my rating, ranking, whatever. I'm totally open for playing... Uh, if you'd like. Uh, that's what I'm seeking games, so of course I'm open. Um, yeah, it makes sense. It just takes some kind of average instead of trying to do something super complicated. I like the complicated stuff. but uh, So if I hit this here button, and then we got a 9x9 nine nine thing, um, I remember yesterday, like our games, we both ended up in a little bit of time trouble. So maybe if I, like, say, well, the main time doesn't matter too much. Say one minute Byoyomi with three periods of, what do you want? <laughs> um, 
Also, do you have a preference for ranked or unranked or something? Um, just given our difference in ranking, I wouldn't want to clobber yours or anything accidentally. Um, only because I've been doing like Sume Go for the longest time, uh, but have not played much. Um, oh, Fisher timing's cool. Yeah, we can do Fisher timing. Um, so by default it recommends this stuff. I mean, I don't much care. Oh, okay, yeah, you might... Okay, if that's fine, that's fine. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's drop this to 15 second increment. I think this should be okay. 5 to 10 would work best, max 2. All right, yeah, I like that. These are fun games. All right, and yeah, yeah, that looks good to me. Cool. All right, handicap none, Comey automatic, color automatic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Game name, yeah. <laughs> we'll just send it. All right, good luck. Also, they got the Zen mode thing, which looks kind of cool. So, yeah, uh, let's see, what would be a safe-ish place to, okay, here's, I'm not going to lose the stone if I put it there. Um, I, <laughs> we're going to go for blood here. This is going to be fun. All right, so that ended pretty quickly. Um, Let's see, where do I plunk another stone just to have some fun? I think this looks okay. I might have played too aggressively already. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, this should be fun. Huh. Well, what now? Do I dare? Um, why don't I do this first? Honey at the head of three stones, eh? Okay. And then I can double back like this. Okay, so this is a bit ambitious. Um, <laughs> oh man, I'm so <laughs> asking for trouble. I don't even know why. I have a feeling I should try something different next time. Hmm. Okay. Um. This makes me think. This makes me think. No, that actually makes sense. Um. This looks super slow, but, you know, we're going to do a cowardly move once in a while, I suppose. Might have done a few too many of them this game. Ha, I've got him thinking. Okay. That's special. That is super special. Um, hmm. 
Here we go. Uh, okay, I've maybe overpressed. I can't even tell. Uh, yeah, I've overpressed. All right. Um, so now what? So overpressed. Well, okay, so we're going to lose two stones in an interesting way. Um, at least I thought it was interesting. Jeez. Okay, so why did I think this was so interesting? Obviously it's not. Well, so... I guess I may be building up some strength somewhere. I'm not sure. This really feels silly what I'm doing. Um, okay. Right, right, right. We have to try this anyway and see where it leads. Uh, where it leads to, I just can't count. All right, so we've got a better sense of where that has led now. Um, right, and he controls the intersection point, so that's that. Um, I mean, I could try strange things here, but my attempts aren't going to succeed. Uh, yeah, so... Huh. I could continue finding ways to lose stones here, or I could get a little bit more solid. I think I have one living group. Uh, so I guess that's my achievement for today. Um, this feels really silly. There's no room to live down here. But I've got to try something. All right, we'll score some end game points and see how we did. That's a spookier move than it looks like, although I guess it's not so effective. I'm not sure if that was the best way for me to... Like, maybe I should have initiated a co. I can't tell. Alright. Um...
This is kind of silly. It's highly risky. Okay, he's protected himself. So, one, two, three moves is far too many. Um, I guess we'll stop him from pushing into my territory. And I guess we'll see just how sadly I lost this. Um, protect against a potential cut. Right, so that's necessary. Um, I guess we'll take a little territory here. And then I guess the rest is Dame. Uh, so I've probably lost by about 10 points if I had to guess. Um, I mean, I could find ways to lose it by more, but I think that's it. Oh, I'm sorry, that actually stops me from trying to live. So maybe that was necessary, that one. Um, Ten, nine, eight, seven, yeah, so I think this is the best I can do. Obviously, he takes it. Uh, looks good. Okay, white's well, 1 by 20. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, right, right. I gotta count them liberties. Um... Got to wake up a little bit here, I suppose. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so there was one big mistake here somewhere. Um, let's see, can we find it? If I had to guess, and I'm not sure, like, where's the analyze button? Or we are in analyze mode, but this is not like a study. Um, let's see. Go takes so many moves. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh. Wait, can I just do this here? Yeah, this looks like something I can do. This might not even have been what you were cluing in on, because this only drops like this group in the upper right. Um, it could be that I was just caught very much by surprise, but um, there might have been something earlier even. I'm not sure. I think I messed up my opening pretty badly. Uh, this caught me by surprise, honestly. Oh, you're fine there. Just e9. Okay, so if I play this, you just play e9. Oh, wait. Right, because I haven't filled in this liberty, so I did count that right during the game. Um, hit top left. Um, it still feels like you, wait, I mean, a6 caught me off guard because it's a first line move. <laughs> this group is so alive compared to this small group. Um, yeah, right, right. Uh, so, let's see. <sighs> do I have anything interesting here? Like, can I do this? I don't even know if this nets me a, a temporary liberty or not. 
Um, no, because you just push here. Um, and even if I try silly things, like this doesn't quite work out. If I do A8 instead, um, you push again, and I still can't kill that here. Um, I wonder. I mean, maybe D8 was just too greedy or something. I don't know. Maybe I should have played like D7. But this isn't what you're talking about either. This is not like a huge blunder. So where would a huge blunder be? Like by now, this top left is pretty secure. Um, this can't work, right? Because you just connect. Um, if I try to do something clever, this is still a second eye. Um, if I try to do this, you still have like two eyes here. Um, um, okay, so everything was fine until you played away and instead you needed to respond. So where's the... okay, here's playing away. Um, oh, really? Oops. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so twice this game I got, well, numerous times this game I was surprised by what happened. I've just been doing Sumego, where everything's pretty obvious. So, yeah, when I'm like 30 moves into a game and um, there isn't a sign that says this is the move, um, yeah, I'm just not astute or alert and aware to it. Yeah, 9x9 nine nine is hard. That's okay. 9 by 9 is fun. If only because it doesn't take like a half hour to play. It goes considerably faster. Alright, oh, I go first again. Alright, let's drop into Zen mode again. And this time, I don't know, do something different. Had a little stick here. Um, hmm. Not sure what to make of this. Alright, so. I guess we'll just take a corner. I mean, I know this is an urgent situation, I just have no idea what to do in it. Um, okay, we'll take this corner. So, yeah, nine by nine is confusing stuff. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty exciting. Um, I don't even know if I want to fight that. Okay, pushing straight into his stone for some reason. Alright, so we got to build a wall somewhere. I'm not sure where my territory is. I don't know 
know where it went. I've probably terribly miscounted. Um, okay, that's not cool. <sighs> so... I guess I do this. My territory is not that great. My influence is insane, but my territory is pretty meh. So, I've got to make some decisions. Oh, jeez. Um, I guess we'll try to hold things together this way. Yeah, I've, this is... I just can't believe this. This is amazing. <laughs> this is different than the game we played yesterday. Um, it's night and day. All right. So, it'll, I mean, I've managed to live, but this is like the most pathetic life I've had here in Go. Um, Okay, we'll vaguely threaten things. Uh, it's probably not so bright. Um, I guess we'll push under. Right, and I guess I'll just... Well, that's end game points. Do I want end game points? No, I want more. I say as I continue to pursue some endgame points. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, I'm not sure what else to pursue here. We'll try it. We'll see what I can get out of this. This might be a wasted move. Yeah, I think you've done uh, considerably well at de-rusting. Um. Okay. Hmm. Go is hard. Oh, right, right, right. Jeez. So I have to start trying to hold my stuff together. Jeez. Oh, so... Yeah, this has not gone particularly well. Um... Partly because, like, I can do a trillion sume goes, but that doesn't tell me how to form the living shape in the first place. It just tells me what's alive and what's dead. Forming living shapes is like, I don't know, finding good moves in chess. Alright, so if I try to kill this, what happens? I don't know. Something. Oh, right, now I'm just being stupid. Like I just said, I knew what living and dead shapes were. And then I go proceed to um, make shapes that are definitely not living. Um, Oh, 
so now what? YOLO? This is too ambitious, but I mean, what else am I going to try? Black's already lost. Black has to try something. Well, maybe... wait. No, that still doesn't make sense. Yeah, go notation, you just write down the coordinates. See, he's not trying to chat here, so we can still play here. That's cool. I appear to have given him something to think about. Um, hmm. Okay. I mean, I found a risky situation. Wait. This can't possibly work, can it? I mean, yeah, I got four liberties here. Four is a pretty big number. Um, he's got multiple groups that are surrounded, so... Um, it's very possible that he's overplayed. So now I'm trying to figure out, do I play B1 here? If B1, it's going to take him three turns to kill me. Meanwhile, he has two liberties. If I play C7 first... Um, I've still got three liberties. <sighs> Reading is hard. Even though this should be like a simple... Like, if I play B1, he's got two liberties. I'm just, like, panicking for no reason. This is like... B1, and then I play C7. He's played anywhere in the meantime. And I'm okay. Generally, you don't want to fill your own liberties like this, but... Um, I don't see a way that he can hit all three at once. Okay, so he's now forced to play aggressively. Um, I think I can make a living shape. Pretty sure I can make a living shape out of that lower right group. You just have to connect it to all the other groups. Um, okay, so... These are end game points. Um... Let's see, is there a way I can kill some more things while I'm at it? This stuff over here is still dead if he takes this point. If I fill this point, and then go here, I wonder if I can get de deny him two eyes here. Or I mean, I can make his life heck, but... It's still not enough to kill it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I'm just gonna kill the thing here. <sighs> just because I don't know what to do. And I'm pretty sure this is winning. So, yeah. Phew! We got one, guys. We got one. Oh, okay. I know, like, when I send the challenges, it says ranked and stuff, but, like, um, like, even if I win a single game, that should do something to my rating, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't, if you're, like, playing your friends. I think I've seen that before. Passing was better than the capture. Right, the capture was completely unnecessary, other than I was freaking out. Um... What I, what I was worried about is that I have three liberties here. Which three is much greater than one, so, like, it's not even close. Um, yeah. 
Oh boy. <laughs> we got one. Um, but I think up to the point where I played this, until this, um, we had a pretty exciting thing going on. So obviously C6 is an overplay. Um, wait, so how long was that there? How long did I miss that? So I played A7. And then there's E9. So, like, if I just bolt this out right away, um, I don't know what's going on. It's complicated. Go is hard. Um, actually, that doesn't even reduce the liberty. I could play this straight away. Um, this tries to make a second eye. And, I don't know, he's got like three liberties and I don't. I don't know what's going on. It goes hard. I liked B2 here, because B2 has four liberties. Okay, B2 is still correct here. Yeah, actually, yeah. Like, my stone on B2 is invincible. Who introduced me to go? Um, I'm trying to remember who first introduced me to it. I've certainly heard about it on many occasions. Sure, yeah, I'm always a, yep, definitely up for a rematch. Um, I guess the most recent person... Um, oh, here, let's, let's play a center move. Um, one of my friends back at college was, uh, pretty enthusiastic about Go. They were from my chess club. Um, but, um, most recently what I think got me excited about it was, um, the DeepMind AlphaGo challenge. Um, not even saying that necessarily it's the best at any particular, uh, like I'm not necessarily saying that AlphaGo is the end-all be-all for Go, but like the AI enthusiasm that's been floating around with that is pretty exciting, particularly because Go is a pretty challenging game. Um, but no, I think it was mostly, um couple friends from um, chess clubs at college and beyond that um, got me interested in Go. But, or who have actually were talking quite well of the game before I took an interest, and then um, this AlphaGo challenge thing really made me wonder, like, what's going on in this? Um, what makes Go such an exciting and interesting game. That and perhaps my inactivity with chess has also been a factor. Okay, well that... <sighs> We're asking for trouble here. <laughs> Wait, why am I not just taking the corner? That's a beautiful corner. That is a beautiful corner. Let's just big, build a big old wall Surround that corner. Call it my corner. Uh, I don't care. Um, that's beautiful. All right, so... Let's see, do I try to push through both directions here? Do I cut? Do I go under? No, we go over. We go over because that connects all of our groups together. Um, Let's see. So I think I try to push through. I'm going to manage to push through one of two different directions. Um, didn't expect to be able to do this. Right, so... 
one, two, three. Or do I push this way now? This looks fun. So is he going to try to stop me, or am I just going to keep pushing? Okay, he tries to stop me. Um, so there's like cutting points all across his side. I can cut anywhere and start having fun. Where do we start cutting? Or do we just paratroop something in like anywhere just for the fun of it and see where it goes? Like, I don't know. I guess I'll make sure I don't lose my whole group, protect this cutting point, and then start figuring out where to cut. Oh, you guys were watching... Um, Go Champion versus uh, DeepMind. Yeah, I watched that. There was like a, I think there was actually a YouTube live broadcast. That was really exciting. Uh, tons of credit goes to the event organizer. It wasn't Hu Yafan, was it? No, who was it? Oh, I'm blanking. Haley from Haley's World of Go was responsible for organizing that wonderful event did a magnificent job keeping it all organized um, I'm forgetting her last name but like she was pursuing a business degree or something at the same time yeah she's very skilled um, both at the game and at bringing people together to do excellent things so, like, everything about the entire event went off without a single hitch, which, that's pretty fantastic. Um, okay, yeah, I should not have taken the co. Because I don't have co threats. Um, taking co's without co nine, threats is kind of eight, silly. Seven, six. Alright, we're going to try this. It feels silly. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, 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 I've actually messed up here. Alright, so I'm just going to cut underneath. Which is pretty easy to stop. So, Alright, so we got that taken care of. Um, this is much more solid than last time. Okay. I don't want him continuing to push through here, so I should do something about this, I suppose. So, the pushing is stopped. Um, we need to secure that point. Or rather, deny the opponent the point. Um, and I think that's that. I think. Unless there's like some sneaky business here. Um, yeah, there couldn't be. Um, 
So the question is, can I manage to, like... Oh, wait, now I have to play one more defensive move Eight, somewhere. Seven, six. Just to secure my stuff. Yeah. Yep, white wins. Well played. Didn't let me kill him this time. <laughs> He's paying more attention. Okay, so I do see my rank is going like from 17Q to 16Q and is waffling a bit, so that's cool. Um, so, I wonder, this game only went 47 moves. 9x9 nine nine games go pretty quickly. I don't think I know how to play Tengen in this stuff. I think I should just avoid the Tengen point, because, like, I don't know, I do really dumb things when I play the Tengen point. Yeah, GG. It feels like there's so much more I could do if I played anywhere else on there. Taking e6 was super... Yeah, I like, uh, what was that? <laughs> that made things more fun for me. Um, although, I don't know how to capitalize on that. Like, you saw I spent a lot of time around this part of the game. And I still beats me, but... Um... So before I push, I should do something smarter. Because pushing straight through was very slow and ineffective. Um, but no, you've built up enough strength here. So yeah, my C2 push was kind of dumb. Okay, here's the first dumb move, actually. I should not be doing that. Um... Yeah, so, and, yeah, right, so, I should, I mean, this is giving away a few points right here, just because, like, I can't push right through his stone, his stone's in the way. Um, yeah, I just made things complicated for myself. I do try to take the corner, so that, I think, is kind of reasonable. Um, this is, I mean, if there were a way to resign and go. It would probably be playing a move like that. Um, uh, just because, like, this is super ultra slow. I've got three stones connected, two stones connected, two connected here. It's good to have some solidity, but, like, all his stones are solid, and I'm just attaching to them. I'm just asking for... I'm not sure where else I would play, because the bar board is so small, but like I messed up big time. <laughs> uh, oh, e8 is also terrible. So it's not just f6 which is bad, but also e8 that followed. Yeah, I don't know any Joseki. Um but probably just taking the corner would have been sensible. Or trying to take it like this way or this way or something. Uh, or contesting this corner or who knows. There's a lot of fun things I could have done. Instead, I just like did the one boring thing that clumps all my stones together. Um, yeah, we're all beginners here. It's good fun. Um, I'll continue trying to do some blitzscapes here. I'm not sure if you wanted more or if that was that, but, um, yeah, we're gonna, I wonder if I can manage to make it past 16Q. Seems that there aren't very many, this, like, I've seen this list be much more populated than it is now. Oh. Okay. Yeah, if you want, um, we could certainly play some more. I'd totally be up for that. Um, uh, 
Go is hard. <laughs> yeah, oh, I've seen OGS be more active than this. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I'm just going to play like there. So it's not Tengen, but um, this is something that lets me I don't know, put some stones on the board and not oversaturate. Okay, so what am I supposed to do in the face of such adversity? You either try to push past or pull back, I think. But this might be okay on a 9x9 nine nine board. Um. Um, okay, I should have expected that. Um, still. Okay, we're going to have some fun here. Oh. Okay. Um, sure, I guess. This looks okay to me. Have I missed something? Okay. Um, do I just keep building my wall? Do I try to defend stuff? Like, this is weird. This is weird. Maybe I've overplayed? I'm not sure. Right, so that's trying to come over the wall. Uh, so I give a couple points or something this way, but I think I'm solid. Okay, that really feels like an overplay. <sighs> that so feels like an overplay. Um, what's going on here? Sacrifice stones to try to force him back a bit, which is not very bright. Um, one, two, three, etc. Wait, if I play here, where is he going? I'm not sure. He could try pushing into the lower right if I'm stupid. Um, This looks fun. I know it's not directly a cut, but he's got one, two, three, four cutting points, so um, there might be life on other side of the wall here. Or if not, at least I'm forcing him to fill in his side. Okay, I see, I see. So I should have tried playing something in the lower left corner instead. I should have tried playing something that might actually manage to live. As opposed to this stuff. Counting's hard. Counting's 
Counting is very difficult. Um. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Somehow this feels like I've butchered things. Um. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7. I guess I don't have a co-threat. Alright, have I at least made sure I don't Ten, die somewhere? Nine, I think I'm eight. stuck. Whatever. I think that's that. Uh, he's managed to live and kill enough of my stones to win this, so... Oh! Okay. Well, I'll accept that outcome, I guess. I forgot Comey's five and a half, not seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, no, that was the same way I read it. Because I'm like, Comey is like seven and a half, right? So, but it's not on this board. On this one, it's... How does the score, anyway? Uh, game information. Um. Oh wait, if I... 32 territory, 19 territory, 6 prisoners, and 5.5 and Comey. Yeah, I was pretty sure I'd lost that. Just because I'd given up enough stones there. Right, but... Um, after F1, you play E9 and win by half. Let's see. Huh. Yeah, because I haven't taken the B4 point. Um, B1 was wrong. If I want to try to win this, like through an invasion... This is the way to try to force you to play d4. And then we do this sort of stuff. Oh, but I can't do 5 there. Ooh, that's not good. Um, so because I can't play 5 there... Yeah, I guess the most urgent thing is that I deal with this. Or the cut under. Um, so I don't have time to screw around with these ideas. Um, now what if I could actually count? What if I did this? We have a score estimator here. I don't want to use that during a game, but... Okay. So yeah, if I could actually count, um, this would have been something I might have tried. Um... So, yeah, I guess my intuition was kind of right here. Um, I guess I played okay. Now, there might have been tactical points that were missed, but the general strategy I had... I panicked when I saw this, honestly. Um, I thought I'd mess something up. But no, I have to, like, assert some dominance here, and it's that simple. Um. Hmm. Okay. That's cool. Oh, I could play F9 in that situation because of the Atari. I see what you're saying. So yeah, I might have I might be able to afford the time to screw around with these ideas. Um they're fun ideas, but um uh I 
What if I do this? I mean, in all these variations, there's always you could just play d4, unless I can manage to get enough liberties to manage to play d4 myself. But if I can do that, surely you'll have formed a couple living groups already, and then all these stones I placed here are prisoners. Uh, and there's no need for me to try to do this cutting stuff, because I've already um, taken the game. But I can't count. <laughs> Nine by nine counting's hard. It's much easier to count on a um, large board where mistakes are more prominent. Um, I know some people like swear by the score estimator and stuff. On a nine by nine board, I guess it makes sense because, like, unless there's some tactics, um, you can estimate the size of each uh, player's territory. Um, and when there are tactics, um, you're not going to bother to estimate scores anyway. Oh yeah, you definitely don't want to rely on that. Um, no, I get that. <laughs> yeah, that technology's not nearly there. And even if it were, that would kind of ruin the game. Um, if I could tell you every move, who was winning. Um, we have enough of that in chess. Yeah, I've heard this too, that the OGS score estimator is not as accurate as the other score estimators. Um, let me go seek a game. Again, I don't know what it means by approximately 10 seconds per move. I don't know, like, I can't see my own seek, I don't think. Or maybe I configured this to hide my own seeks. It was forever ago when I configured this, if I did. So I don't remember how that works. Five minutes plus five thirty second things. Um. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, what the heck? What the heck? Black to move. All right. We're going to pass on move one. Hello and good luck. If I can spell luck. Okay. Here's a corner move. Let's estimate the score, guys. Like, move one. You can never be too sure what the score is. All right. I wonder if he's going to like play e7. Cuz he's built up something that kind of oh, well. Well, well, well. We're just going to make this little spiral thing. I think I'm okay already. This feels fine. This feels like I'm playing for too much already. Um but where's the fun in not doing that? So if I take the entire top half of the board minus uh, Tengen, that's pretty good. For white, that is a pretty good result. I know people use the words incente and ingote. Um, so I guess the way you're supposed to say that is if I take the top half of the board and gote then that's pretty fun, um, but whatever. So that stone looks a bit not next to its friends. What? Excuse me? Um, huh? What is this? Excuse me? Show me what you're playing. How does this work?
How is that not the most miserable shape ever? I guess I've overextended somehow or something. Um. Okay. He's going to play d8. I've just got myself into some kind of weird Joseki thing. And I don't know any Joseki, so this is going to be fun. We're going to have fun, guys. Um, so if I play c9, he plays d9, and then I cry. We're going to do anything other than that. So, okay, he takes a stone, I take a corner. I think that's a decent outcome for me. If all I have to do is give up one stone to get an entire corner, I, I think that's okay. Now, he might play d5. Um, for some reason, I wasn't too worried. Part of the reason I wasn't so worried is because um, I'm really curious where this goes. Um, so I wanted to see this play out. Otherwise, I would be much more cautious. Um, we're just playing fun moves. So is he going to play, like, f6 now? Is he going to play this Atari? I get out of the Atari. If he ignores everything, I play f5. Surely he's playing somewhere in the vicinity of f5. Yeah, that's pretty close to f5. Um, okay. So I've only got, like if he plays g8, I've only got two liberties. Uh, so I can't try to kill this while my own shape is so weak. Um, yeah, if I play g6 and he plays g8, uh, I can Atari his stone. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that is Mahane at the head of two stones. Sure. Um, man, I want to play some super aggressive stuff. It just doesn't feel appropriate. Okay, he's trying to kill my left group. Yeah, this is a dire situation after all. Yeah, the left group it looks pretty dead. Not gonna lie. Um, I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, I see he could play g4, I see he could play f2. I don't know what the time remaining on our clock is, either. Uh, oh, the, we do have Bioyomi time. Never mind. Okay. So as long as we've got Bioyomi after this, I don't need to panic about the time. Um, I've got two liberties, he's got four. 
that's kind of a loss. Um, all right, so if I he's got three liberties here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so where do I want to try to play to do the most trolly kind of move? Um, maybe I can stir up some trouble this way. Only because I feel like I have zero territory, so I'm kind of forced into a corner where I have to kill something now. Um... I can't just live in the upper right and call that territory. Oh, but now he plays e2. This is actual gameplay. Yeah, we're playing real go moves. Um... Wait, he should just play like d2. My move is ridiculous. My move aspires to way too much. Yeah, d2 is just clearly um, I don't know, very menacing. Well, this is Atari. Oh, but now he Atari's my group. No, he can't Atari my group. He has to kill my stone. He doesn't have time to Atari me. Then I could play G1. Um, I could also play C4. I mean, c4 looks free. c4, d3. So Atari, he defends the Atari. Uh, I don't have another Atari, do I? Is d1 also Atari? After this, 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 c2. Ten, nine, I think eight, this is free. Seven, six, five, four, four. Okay, so we'll Atari. And then D1's another Atari, but then he's able to get out of being repeatedly Atari'd. Um, I could play C1. He plays E1, I'm dead. I could play G1, he plays E1. Uh, so he, like, Atari's me no matter which way I go. I could play both D1 and G1. Uh... Okay, GG, man. I think there was a mistake. Hooray! Uh, thanks for the game. Um, Double-digit Q games, right? Um, sorry? Okay. Should I have resigned before this? Is that what we're saying? Um, yeah, okay, I did, like, super dumb moves. Um, am I lost here? Opinions. Am I lost here? My little dumpling at the top of the board looks pretty bad. Okay. Um... So if I'm lost here, and I'm assuming I am, then I think this means... What? What does this all mean? First of all, b6 is kind of ridiculous. Um, I've got two cutting points here. <sighs> this isn't chess, you can't just go around killing everything. You have to actually play sensible moves from time to time. Um... 
let's see. C2 would have one. Uh, sorry about that. I'm trying to understand what happened in the upper left. Um, something happened. I don't know what. Like, B6 feels atrocious somehow. Um, my B6 looks... Upper left was just a ton of fighting, that's for sure. I guess anything can erupt at any moment there. Um, I wonder, if I just did something like this, what would happen? Like, is this a living shape? Um... You never see this kind of sumego. You might see Joseki, but there's like never a sumego that's just like your opponent's played something just this completely outrageous. <laughs> um, okay, I can't kill him here, you're saying. Because, yeah, there's no way I can take the corner, right? Right, no, he plays either a8 or a9, and he's okay. So, um, so I should just like play a solid shape and rejoice in the fact that he has to like place another stone somewhere around here. Um, it still feels like I've overplayed this. Maybe... I'm so excited about playing d6 here. I guess I should have thought more about whether it was good or not. This looks fun, too. Like, there's always fighting in double-digit Q games, and on a 9x9 board. Um, this only works because the e5 point is taken. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I was feeling some pressure due to that e5 point. Um, hmm. Yes, yeah, so I think this might be a reasonable other way to try to play this. So because I'm threatening b6, black might attempt b6, I might do this. Whoops, that's not what I meant. Um, I meant he would probably try to cut here, and I just surrender the stone and this is probably fine. Um, I mean, there's sure to be tons of ways to play this. One thing that's nice about chess that you don't get so much in Go is just this clarity um, that you can associate with each position uh, that this position's better than that position. Um, it's very difficult for me, having played chess for so many years, to adjust to a game where it's less like, oh, yeah, you do one of these things, and your opponent does one of those things, and, you know, it can go a variety of different directions, and they have all kinds of local and global consequences. And that's, it's just maddening, because, like, I've been trained to try to find the optimal move, and you're finding that sort of thing in um, on a 9x9 board is not going to happen. Um, well, should we check out our profile? Let's see. Oh, 15Q. Better go update the stream title. You know, just in case people are uh, choosing whether or not to watch this based solely on my rating, 
we're 15 Q guy, uh, 15 Q now. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to draw in all the viewers. Although, honestly, I think I probably had more viewers when I was like 25 Q. I think it partly depends what day of the week you're doing it. Um, hmm. Let's see. People are seeking games. Well, there goes the 19 by 9. Oh, there's another 19 by 19. 20 seconds per move. Auto handicap unranked against a 15 Q. This could be fun. Sure, why not? This is slower. Um, my move. All right. Hello and good luck. This will be fun. It's unranked game, no pressure. Oh my goodness. Are you guys going to kill me if I take the coordinates off the board? Oh, 20 seconds per move. Black wins! Yes! Alright, we are the champion. Okay. Yeah, I was feeling weird anyhow. I guess. Uh, <laughs> you're not supposed to say yes when you win a game. <laughs> Clearly my opponent was not there, or something. Um, I kind of like, did not like the fact that the coordinates were on the board, like, consuming so much space. Well, we got our 19 by 19 game out of the way for today. I know you are all looking forward to it. Um, oh, hey, look, here's a 25Q. Uh, asking for a two-point handicap game. Sure. Whatever. Oh, okay. No, because I ranked up, I can't play this guy in a ranked match. Damn it. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's okay. <laughs> amazing. Simply amazing. You can put them uh, only two sides of the board if you like. Honestly, a two stone handicap on 9x9 nine nine is huge. Yeah, that kind of weirded me out that, like, um, I mean, I kind of get, like, why a 25Q would ask for a handicap. Uh, Comey's considerably less. Um, honestly, just playing with a different Comey, I think, would be more interesting than playing a multi-stone handicap game. Like, a handicapped 9x9 nine nine board feels like a really weird concept. Um, okay, wait, where did that go? It's still here. Sure. All right, black to move. Good luck, good luck. Zen mode. All right, we're taking Tengen, guys. We're taking Tengen. Despite everything I've said about Tengen, we're taking it anyway. Alright, so... Um... Alright, so now if I just play G4 next, I win, right? Or maybe F3 or something, I don't know. Like, this feels super aggressive to me. Yeah, I know it's just a one-space jump, but this knight's move opening seems kind of passive. Oh my god. What is this? Okay, so... We'll just mix it up a bit. Maybe I should have tried playing inside the knight's move. I'm not feeling that at the moment.
Yeah. Playing a handicapped 9x9 nine nine game seems, like, really painful. As opposed to just changing the Comey number, and then you can play your stones wherever you want without being afraid of getting surrounded. Um. Okay. That is a legal move. Do you want to play b4 next? Okay, that is a legal move. Would you care to play b3 next? Okay, that is legal. Would you care to play at b2 after playing there? Just asking questions. Um, this might not... I mean, at some point I might have played this way, but this seems like really, really slow and really low to the edge of the board. Okay. Well, that little race is done. So now do I try to surround this? Like, do I be a jerk about it, or do I just, like, take my space and say, okay, that's lovely. Um... I'm going to try taking this side and corner. Lesson one, never ignore an attachment when you're a Q. Alright, so we're just going to connect all my stones together into this interesting formation. I might build a wall all the way up the board too, or at least up to D8. Um, there's the triangle, guys. It's the legendary empty triangle. Um, yeah, let's just connect my stones together. Plus this um, threatens to Atari. Um, threatens all kinds of fun things, really. Do I go here? No, well, no. No, we don't. Going there would not be so bright. Okay, so... Hmm. I'm sensing e6, which I should have thought a little bit more about. Okay, that's striking me as just particularly odd. Um... Let's see if I can convince him to play c9. I don't know what's going on here, guys. Like, as long as I don't help him build this enormous wall somewhere in this vicinity, I should be okay. Okay, so I was going to say, I wanted, like, if he played c9, I wanted to play f7 next and try to, like, kill this stone. Um, it's fun to just float about here. Wait, um, wow, so many fun things could result from this position. I guess I want a solid connection somewhere. So this is going to be the way that I make sure that all four of my groups don't get completely disconnected. But also I'm threatening like F7. Um, not really. It's too slow. But I'm threatening like H4, F7, B6, B2. I should consider B2 now. Um, Uh, I'm not able to directly kill anything. You suggest I try C9 here. Okay, yeah, C9 looks more... Uh, it looks faster than B2, for one thing. Um, F6 looks fun, too. F6 and I are still multiple cutting points. Um... I'm trying this. 
So I've got h4, I've got g7. I can try to climb under on either um, the left side or right side. Oh, sorry, Austin. Sorry, I'm not... <laughs> I could have cautioned, I guess, in my stream title, I am a double-digit Q player. Um, despite having a, I don't know, an interest in the game that has been more than a year. Um, that doesn't make me any good at it. You still have to put in the time and the effort to become good at anything. Uh... <laughs> B2 looks so fun. H3 looks like I'm just taking space or territory, but um, H3 takes more territory than anything else. Hmm. I need to put some effort in and try to read these positions. He's got three liberties. Um, if I put a stone here, it has two liberties. So I'd get surrounded in most situations if I were to place a stone here. Unless there's like some special combination that changes everything. Um, yeah, no, I just get surrounded there. I should take territory though. <laughs> yeah, we could be watching Lilkoff play. Um, yeah, C9 makes some sense, too. Like, if I didn't squander a move on F6, C9 would have been a better place to go. Um, J3. All right. Is this how we're going to go? Is this really what we're doing? Um, feels like his thing is dying somehow. Well, there's no harm in playing this first. I guess the only harm is that now he's got h2, Ten, which gains a nine, tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Well, so if I'm done screwing around with this side of the board, I can consider c9 again. F6 was too slow. F6 is way too slow. Um. Two, one. Okay. I guess we'll push over here. Only because I'm not seeing anything. F7 looks kind of, in, or G7 looks interesting too. Um, G7, G8, H7, H8. Uh, I don't know. He's got three liberties here. Um, if I'm trying to descend into this, okay, that looks wrong. Um. That looks wrong for like a thousand different reasons. Oh dear. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna try it. This looks fun. Oh wait, did I mean to play G7 first? I don't remember. I probably meant to play G7 first. Oops. I'm tired. Yeah, we're actually going to get something like H5 here. We might actually get some combination of like multiple stones that are trying to make a life on the second line. 
Um, it's that's a pretty pathetic life. It can't possibly be alive, but it might give me enough to, um, threats for me to go transfer an attack over to the other side of the board somehow with Sente. Or somehow with a Atari. Um, um, okay. Only because I'm still curious. Now you're down to two liberties here. Well, I guess you just play J7. I'm not going to self Atari. Um, okay, that's an alternative. Um, of course, now he's going to play G7. So I've messed this up. He's definitely got one eye in the upper right corner. I forced him to make an eye. All right, so. That's definitely an eye. Looks like two eyes if he puts a stone at J7. So I can stop worrying about that. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, um, three, two, one. Let's see. C9, B6, B7. Yeah, that's no good. I mean, it's a try, but it's just no good. I guess we just seal this off. So he's got one line, two lines, two, three lines or something. <sighs> How much space is this? That's seven, four, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 29 to like 7 and 5 and 2 and 2. Yeah, it's not even close. He's up by like 5 when we factor in Comey. I've failed to kill his stuff. He's played more efficiently than I have. Um... He's taken away one of his own liberties. Brilliant. Um, he's got three liberties. Um, why would you take away your own liberties? Ten, nine, eight. I don't seven, know. Six, five, four, three, two, two. I don't remember how many time things I have left. Okay, I've got enough time periods left. Um, oh, I should fill on the outside first. Duh. I played this because I couldn't figure this stuff out, but okay, he's got that. So I've messed up. Um... I'm not alive in the corner. Ten. Whatever. So he's got it. Yep, yep, yep. Accept, accept. Black wins. Alright. Thanks for the game. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, he just outplayed me. Interesting game. Um, if Wendt played a3, it'd lead to shortage of liberties, and Black would have to play extra defensive move. Right. So he had just barely enough liberties at the very end. Um, mm -hmm. So like I said, I should not play Tengen, because I don't know what I'm doing. 
Um, h3. Wait, what happened here? Okay, after we played three stones, then things got silly. I kept building this wall. It was unnecessary. Um, I keep imagining that if my opponent overplays, I can just kill their stones. Because I spend all my time doing Sumego. And in real games, you can't just kill everything. Um, yeah, thanks. Alright, see you around. Real games, you have to play strategic moves, too. Um, yeah, my C2 was just stupid. Um, and um, G3 was greedy after having been stupid, and like... I don't know, did I play anything good after this? I played E6, which was like extremely slow. I was very happy with this position. I should have just played this. This could have been an interesting game. Even more than it was. Um, I always have the threat of trying to do something silly there, but this is the more efficient way to go about things. And this like threatens to plow right through the side of the board, so he has to react. Um, if he reacts at 2, then we get away with this. So 2 is not really possible. He has to play something like this instead. Um, it's not he's threatening like d5. I don't know, so maybe my push here was okay. As long as I follow with this. Uh, he connects, and I just continue. Um, so, why am I so bad at go? <laughs> oh, surely I could have found this during the game, right? Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? Why do I play the slow moves? <sighs> okay, whatever. Okay. Let's see. 9 by 9 is tricky. You make one mistake and it's over. Not really, but it feels that way. It feels like you knew exactly what you were doing. And then you played a bad move. And then you played some more moves just after getting frustrated. And then soon enough you just lose the whole game. Um, 30 minute... Oh, that's 19 by 19. I thought that said 9x9. Nine nine. Um. <laughs> it's amazing how many 9x9 nine nine games you can get done when you don't think when enough when playing any of them. Alright. Sure. Whatever. Let's play it. YOLO. Hello and good luck. Okay. Zen mode. Tengen! We're gonna master Tengen somehow. Create a custom seek. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I'll keep that in mind. So that's a large knight move. That's a small knight move. Okay, I'm just going to build a wall straight down uh, the E file. I know you don't call them files in this game, but I'm a chess player. Alright, so here's our wall. Oh, he ruined the wall. Alright, so now am I supposed to push him into my wall? Well, on a larger board that would make sense. On this dinky little thing, who knows what makes sense. Um... I don't know. Fine. Okay, you get some space, I get some space. Um, okay. How about no, we don't connect that. 
Um, okay. This feels weird. Well, he's definitely cutting into my territory. Okay, so I'm going to play on this side then. Uh, procrastinating on physics homework. Homework's not going to do itself, unfortunately. Um, am I self atariing if I do this stuff? It just feels like any time I play a move, I'm always going to self atari somehow. Wait, can I connect underneath? Well, that's a. That's not Atari. I thought it was Atari. It's still a damn cool move, but it's not Atari. Um. So this is going to be a lot of fighting. Wait, what? Um, no? I refute you? How could this possibly work? I am not believing this. I am being dumb though, so maybe it does work somehow. Ah, uh, so now what? Undo requested. Yeah, I don't think that move works. Um, not that I necessarily think any move works, but um, that one in particular looked pr like startlingly bad. So if I play a9, um, like, okay, if I do the direct Atari, he connects, and if I directly Atari again, he plays a9. If I lead with a9, wait, if I lead with a6, Atari, a8, throw in, um, yeah, this seems sensible enough. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Interesting. So if I play A9 and B9, that's self Atari. Okay. So we found a way to make this work. Um, so now what? Now what? When I'm done looking at self Ataris, I can start looking at good moves here. Um, okay, 
that's an Atari. All right, we're all going to keep cross-cutting each other. Goodness knows where we'll end up. Um, did he just pull the same thing on me on the right side of the board that he did in the upper left? Probably. Uh, so this is not immediately self-Atari, but looks pretty sad. Um... We'll see if I'm dead or not. It, it looks like I'm losing all of my stones, which is an achievement, by the way. Or totally should be. Um, okay, do I at least get to kill something before I get swept off the board? <sighs> Probably not. Feels like I've done something wrong. I'm dead now everywhere. Okay, we have confirmation that I have actually died. So now I, I have to get my opponent overconfident somehow, and then take advantage of that overconfidence. Um, I guess that's the plan. It works in chess a lot. So, it might work and go, but probably not. Okay, so there's I number one. Um, huh? Okay, I might not be completely dead everywhere. I might actually live a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I'm at least slightly alive. Got him, guys. <laughs> All right, so is that that's not Atari? Um, inverting the move order doesn't gain me anything special other than it looks cool in the inverted move order yeah let's do this okay so I could kill that for that's a co-fight um, Well, since this thing in the upper left's already dead, I should take this point. Um, here, we're going to start a uh, co. Um, Now, if I do this right, there might be something in it for me. Um, probably not. I can't make a co-threat big enough to save my upper left group. One, two, three. If I play this, I'm actually threatening to kill the B8 stone. That's Atari outright. I'm not sure why I didn't see that Atari. Okay, let's try this. So that's Atari. And then this is Atari. And this is Atari again. 
That's the first time I've ever executed a co-fight. I think I did okay. Pretty sure that came out okay. I forget who I was watching the other day who explained, I think it was Michael Redmond. Now, I know he's a 9-down professional. I know I'm like double-digit Q. But there's this concept that was explained of having a co needing to be of the right size to be worth doing. And so, like, you want to either increase or decrease the size. Like, here I'm losing all five stones unless I can manage to do some big enough threat in the other corner such that losing that other threat isn't worth as much as the five stones or something like that. That turned out amazingly good. Now, don't expect me ever to play anything that amazing ever again. Um, I'm just, but um, no, seriously. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Okay, what wins by resignation? Can I bookmark this game? This was amazing. Uh, how the heck do I bookmark this? I mean, we could get a link to the game. Uh, are there not in-platform bookmarks for games? I don't suppose there are. <sighs> Whatever. Still a pretty cool game. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, when he plays a5, my next thought is, well, can I kill this group? I know that's not even necessary at this point. At least I'm pretty sure. Um, if we just get a rough score estimation, white's already ahead by 10. Um, but I was puzzling over whether I could actually kill the left group now. Yeah, you know, the best thing is to download the game. I've got like a million files on my hard drive, so I'm never going to find the file again if I download it. But um, plus, you can't exactly share a downloaded file. Um, well, no, there are sites where you can upload games and stuff, but whatever. Um, that kind of misses the point. Oh, you can download the SGF and then upload it to. The, yeah, you're right could totally upload it to the OGS library. I could even anonymize the game if I wanted to. I'm sure that if I stick with Go for a while, um, that eventually will come another day where I have another co-threat. You don't see a double-digit Q execute a co-threat with any skill, like ever. So I'm pretty proud of that for one, having just started to grasp the concept of why a co-threat would ever make any sense. Like, why would anybody start a co-fight and not immediately go back and try to win it? Like, here I'm starting a co-fight in the upper left, and I timed it just right so that, like, um, so that my opponent should give away this J2 stone and should just like accept that they're collecting these stones which were already dead. So I've started a co-fight, I've given up a B stone on B9 so that I could collect the stone on J2. So that's the whole point of the co-fight, is that you're not really intending to win it because you have a threat somewhere else, or vice versa. I'm not explaining it correctly, but yeah, there's always uh, <laughs> there's always skill even if the skill is luck. Yeah, we'll take it. I'm pretty proud that I did this. Um, okay, so earlier in the game, something went terribly wrong. Um, I played Tengen again. I'm starting to think that Tengen is not the easiest thing to play on a 9x9 board. Because, um, like, it's very solid. Um, having this wall that has no territory, but hmm, I guess if I play Tengen, I'm asking for a violent game. 
which kind of works out sometimes. Um, hmm. I don't know whether to stick with continuing to play violent games like every game, or if I should try to play um, something where I'm going to learn something at all. Uh, yeah. So, I wonder at what point... We were saying by here this upper left thing was dead. That's... yeah, I agree. So this E9 was too slow. Well, no, D8 was too slow. Um, there are multiple ways I could Atari this stone. Uh, I wonder how any of this works. So... Uh, I've got two liberties. Black has two liberties. But a little bit more, because it's difficult for me to access these points. Um... Hmm. Like, during the game, I considered this and just flat-out rejected it. Uh, cause like this looks ridiculous. Um, was this the move? Like, what's the point of C5? Uh, what am I even doing? Uh, I like looked at that and said this doesn't look fun, cause I have no territory. So C5 was me trying to get territory, but, um, or to do an invasion. And I certainly invaded, but uh, I don't know. Stuff happened. A lot of really trippy stuff happened. Um, I think I just play here? No, wait, I misclicked. Um... Yeah, so that's not very good. Um, hmm. There is no point to C5. Okay, thank you. Thanks, that makes more sense now. Um, so, when I'm attacked by this thing, this caught me very much by surprise. I don't do very well when I'm caught by surprise. Um in these blitz games. I don't improvise very well. Like, what's going on here, I wonder? Um, I've probably played more than one of those moves incorrectly, but also, like, uh, h7 doesn't seem to make sense. So, playing up there just encourages a solid move. But he's got three liberties, three liberties. I can actually count liberties of individual stones here. Okay, we'll, we'll just assume that one makes sense, but each one of these still has three liberties. Um, hmm... I could play under here. Yeah, fighting happens on a 9x9 board. I should just accept that, like, there, there's no one pattern to all 9x9 games. As much as I don't want to be bothered to learn opening Joseki for a larger board, um, I should not try to solve Joseki on 9x9, because there's, like, an infinite number of them. Basically, anything can happen at any time. Sorry. <laughs> I think that's part of the charm of this, too, is that, like, anybody viewing this can see my mistakes. Um, basically, everybody watching Go on Twitch is better than I am at it. Um, except for my chess viewers. 
who are just like bewildered at what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Llama Lord is saying the pro tip is create a custom game if you really want to have a game. So I'm going to still create it with these same parameters. You can play... Oh, it only goes down to 10 seconds. I was going to say you can play like Bullet uh, Go. Just like ridiculously fast go. Um, there's no reason to do that, but... Um, Maybe a custom game makes it easier for people to find stuff. Here we go. Your move. Uh, hello and good luck. Okay, similarly ranked opponent. Not that I should even be considering that, but since I saw it, I saw it. Um, I don't even know where to go. Cross game. Here we go. Play D7. Let's see where we end up. Okay. Um, okay, we're building bases everywhere. Okay. We're pushing. Ten, YOLO. Nine, eight, eight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, um, six, okay. Ten, nine, oh, I'm eight, self Atariing basically. Six, five, uh, four, this four, is too solid. I've created ten, a zillion triangles. Nine, eight, seven, six, uh, sorry. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, 10, Sorry for all the triangles, guys. Oh, so many. Okay, we had a filled triangle there. That one's not so bad. So many empty triangles. Ten, Such terrible nine, Aji. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Why did I do that? Nine, eight, eight, oh, this bullet or this ten, fast go nine, is messing with eight, my head. So, Nine, is this a living eight, shape? Seven, six, five, four, ten, I'm not sure what's... Nine, oh, this eight, does look living. Seven, six, five, four, that very much looks alive. He's got two eyes. Ten, um, nine, eight, seven, six, five, I'm five, gonna get overrun here if I'm not careful. Ten, Nine. Ten. Nine. Eight, All right. So seven, that's going to force me six, to connect at some point. Five, four, three, two, one, one. Ten, oh, don't I have a lovely, lovely eight, dumpling here? Seven, um. Six, five, four, three, two, two. Like, there's no point for me to take that, Dame. Ten, nine, and then that's eight, Atari, so I have to connect. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I guess we pass. Ten, nine, eight, eight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Are we done yet? Ten, nine. Are we done yet? White wins by ten. 
Yeah. I got massacred. Well played. Um, so what went wrong? Other than 10, 9, 8. Um, I should not have played the first line move. I should not have played this at all. It's too early to play that. Like, everything else is better than that. Um, but... Uh, what else did I mess up? Um, C2. We had a way to kill the bottom right. Oh, okay. Um, I wonder. J6 was super slow. Um, so, what if I tried to, like, kill this? If I appropriated my time better and looked closer at this move, um, yeah, that'll do it. Because he played j4, I can play h3, and I am alive and he's not. That would have made a bit of a difference. Um, oops. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Now I wonder, at what point was this dead? Was h1 correct? Or should I have just jumped in right away? Or does it even matter? Um, like if I can do this right away, that simplifies all the calculation. I'm pretty sure I can. Because he still needs two eyes to live. Well, I guess that gives him another eye. So if I play this, he should probably play that, but... In fact, wait, how did the game proceed again? Yeah, that was how the game proceeded, but okay. H1's correct. H3 looks very correct. And that's just a dead shape. It's like... Not even that difficult of a dead shape. Uh, if I have to, um, I could play it. Um, well, I can't mark points. Yeah, I can. Just play like here, 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 whatever, if I have to. Probably don't even have to play half of these, but um, I mean, just. And then, yeah. It's not nearly as difficult as I'm making it look, but if I can at least spot, like, H3, then I could see that if I absolutely were, like, Atari'd a thousand times here, I could play all these points and still be alive while trying to kill this. Um, so, yeah. Um... Yeah, okay, and so even after it's alive... Uh, I had a chance. So, even after this happened... Um, I don't know if I had to fill that point immediately. I think I'm, I had to pick, like, E3 and E5 pretty quickly. Um... I could have picked either one of them. Um, so I pick that, I try to go kill, well no, this isn't even an attempt to kill, this is just, there's not a whole lot going on there. Uh, this thing, what do I think about this? D6 looked aggressive, um, yeah, D6 is fine, otherwise I'm forced to place at F7. Like... Otherwise, we just continue this way. So d6 stops that madness. Um, there are chances here. Oh my god. Okay. How long has that been there? Um, yeah, d6. So he distracted me. He juked me, guys. I fell 
right for it. Um, okay, so mm. there's no sume go that have this move. I'll tell you that. Nobody makes a sume go this easy. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah. Um, it's a double digit Q game. I'll have to forgive myself somehow. <sighs> okay. Next game. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Even with the timer counting down, I should have some chance of finding that. It'd be nice to have a visual cue as to how many Bioyomis I have remaining, because I'm not going to count that. I could maybe manage to count that if it weren't counting 10, 9, 8 every single time, which is okay. It's a bit tense. I know that like for longer games, that's important. Um... Is there a way to like make that only count down from five? Because like if I'm in overtime, I know I'm in overtime. You don't have to remind me. Like in a blitz game, I'm gonna file an issue or like put something up in their forum or something and say, you know, if I'm playing blitz with a ten-second Yomi period. Can we please not count down from 10 every single time? Pretty please. Hello and good luck. All right. Tengen. All right, whoops. Didn't mean to toggle coordinates. I meant to go into Zen mode. All right. Well, we Tengen. Tengen was fun. It means we will fight this game. Okay. Now we're super gonna fight. Because we have two very different philosophies of what's going on here. Um, oh man. Like, how do you even? Nine, eight, seven, here we go. I'm just gonna make seven, a plus sign. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Six, it looks four, fun. Three, two, one, one, All right. Let's create a thousand ten, weaknesses. Panuki everywhere. Seven, six, five, five, okay. Finally, ten, I connect two stones nine, adjacent to each other. Eight, seven, um, ten, nine, uh, okay. Whatever. Ten, I didn't need those stones. Ten, nine, eight, seven, um, six, Five, five, sure, we'll place here. Ten, Why not? Nine, eight, seven, ten, Feels nine, like I perhaps have not played something efficiently. Ten, nine, um, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, five, ten, nine, eight, seven. Six. He's gonna kill my two stones now, Ten, right? Okay. Nine, I called it. That doesn't make it any better. Oh, he kills this stone. Ten, hmm. Nine, or he doesn't. Seven, six, um. Four, three, Yolo. Whatever. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, uh, okay. Five, Four. Ten. Nine. How fun could this be? I think I've played a thousand Ten, bad moves this nine, game. Eight, seven, six, uh, five. Okay. I am completely losing focus. Ten, nine, eight, um. seven, six, five, four. Ten, 
nine, eight, seven, ten, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, that's not good. Ten, nine. That does not quite work. It's tempting to think it might. Um. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay. Am I completely out of threats here? Because I'm not in a very good position, to put it mildly. Ten, nine, eight. Yeah, fine, whatever. We'll call it. Except removed stones. YOLO. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, wait. Um, okay. I don't think that's... Um, hmm. We might have a dispute here about the scoring. Because, like, the score estimator way of removing the stones is a bit janky. Victory! <laughs> uh, somehow. Because I don't know the interface that well. Uh, yeah. Uh, GG. Okay, uh, yeah, that was something. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure, like, just the way that it removed the stones, um... The, this auto removal thing didn't quite work out the way it should have. I'm pretty sure that thing on the lower left is super ultra mega dead. Um, but there are some codes to be worked out first. Okay. Yeah, I can click on the stones. You're right. I can, like, um, choose not to be lazy at the end of a stream. Well, not the end, but I can choose not to be lazy. I can choose to um, score things in a way that might try to make sense, but I wasn't the one who passed first. Um, so it f would feel kind of weird to continue playing after my opponent passed. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I've never used the manual removal feature, but like, given that there's still a co here to resolve, um, I could see why it didn't automatically remove all these stones. Uh, it's interesting the way the upper right worked out. That was kind of weird. <laughs> um... So what happened this game? Other than lots of insanity. Um, okay, so I played G or F4 here, which is complete and utter bunk. Yeah, I was. I'm playing a lot of really loopy moves here. Like if I'm gonna play something like that, I should play it here. I'm yeah. Or if I want to play something more assertive, play like this, maybe. I don't know. Or even better, just here. And let myself be cut and whatever, but yeah. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, this looks fine. Uh, or since there's some local stuff going on, just connect the wall. Why did I not make the wall? I don't know. Yeah, we certainly can't have an actual post-mortem. Um, so, yeah, I think, like, the general takeaway I can have from this game is don't throw your stones randomly across the board and expect positive things to happen. Because, like, my opening play was super, I guess, vulgar is the word I've heard other people use to describe this kind of play, where it's just, like, complete 
ridiculousness. Um, I was considering this for a second. This looked kind of silly. Um, the obvious intention is that you have three liberties, and all of my stones have three liberties. Well, everything not... I guess all my stones are adjacent to a stone. So yeah, they all have three liberties. Um, this looks difficult to calculate. I was expecting this if I played that. And then I'm not sure where things go. I might have to connect in a more rational manner. Um, yeah, I think this could have been a fun move. Um, let's see what the score estimator thinks about this position. <laughs> Only because I'm curious just how it fails. <laughs> okay, it says black has territory and everything's alive. That seems like an interesting way to estimate it. Uh, oh, you can push the estimate score button repeatedly and see it come up with random numbers. That's cool. I approve. Wow. Yeah, they weren't kidding when they said estimate. Just like throw some dice and see like which things stay lit up. I definitely approve. That's a nice estimator. How if I go down here? What well, this looks like it might make more sense. You still have three liberties. I might have actually killed this thing in the opening. Um Well, no, killing it is giving myself too much credit, but, um, yeah, no, I think this is, like, this would have been super strong, I think, now I'm thinking more about it. Um, it randomly plays 100 moves and tries to conclude the result. Well, that's cool. So I wasn't too far off when I said some randomness was involved. You think 14d2 is, um, gives you more potential to end up cutting, though. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that I've, like, scattered my stones in this ridiculous fashion means I'm very open to cutting. Um, but I think uh, the positive consequence of the way I played this is that um, if I do get cut, I'm only losing a single group at a time, and each group is exactly one stone big. Now, over time, that's going to change, um, but it's going to take time for you to try to cut my ridiculous shape. Again, I wish there were a way to, like, bookmark entertaining games. Um, this one in particular was pretty great. Not because of the outcome, but because of just like the complete absurdity of white um, playing all these stones completely, I don't know, diagonally connected to each other. And black um, building walls, but also building like some kind of corner here. This looks like one of the most beautiful go positions I've ever seen. Um, like, you could probably run a thematic go tournament. If this position is balanced, and if it isn't, just change the Komi. Um, but you could run some sort of go tournament where the participants have to start from this position and figure out what the hell is going on. This is pretty great. Yeah, right. Double digit Q Go games cannot be predicted. This is really pretty awesome. Yeah, nice.
Um, wow. Like, uh, I'm not sure that even high-ranking people could understand what's going on after D2. White is clearly asking for, like, this ridiculous fight. And Black is trying to peacefully um, build up some kind of something. And is just getting dragged involuntarily into a fight. Um, usually, my understanding is that Black is the aggressor and White's the one who's usually the one trying to defend a shape. But I think everything you did here was reasonable. Um, and I think everything he, I did here was unreasonable. But um, somehow Go is just, I don't know. It's different game than chess. In chess, if you play like unreasonable moves the entire time, it's very difficult to get a position that can be held. In Go, if you do it, I guess sometimes it works out. This is oversimplifying things, but yeah, I'm not sure. I wonder if we go back a bit, like if yeah, obviously I'm. Was it peeping here, where I'm threatening to push through? So you do have to solidify there. So I think my peep there actually made some very locally with like within the context of just these three stones this peep made sense um or it could have made some sense it forced you to play this super solid move um yeah i wonder so i've got four stones attacking this group of three what if I didn't, Pete? Well, no, if I didn't do that, then you might push through in between my stones. So I had to do that. So I guess we have to go back here and ask, like, what's Black doing? I just don't know. Um, yeah. No, you're absolutely right that my peep creates this cutting point. Like, Every point between my stones is a cutting point. It certainly weakens my shape. But my shape, uh, I'm playing very fast here. Um, every one of my moves contains like some kind of threat. So I could have you on the run for a while. Um, if things ever slowed down, and in go they must eventually, right? I can't just continue playing this lattice forever. Eventually we run out of squares on the board and we have to start, like, packing the stones closer together. Um, eventually these cutting points will catch up with me. Like, if I just play just F6 out of the blue, yeah, immediately my shape is coming under fire. Um, so I have to keep attacking, or this just doesn't work out at all. But... Um, Yeah, you're right. Um, so I'm just trying to think, like, what's... White has played some ridiculous moves this game. Black has taken both the upper left and lower right corners and has built this nice little wall. Um, which means that Black is not anxious to push left or push right here. That said, because Black is not anxious to push either of those two directions, Black kind of wants, in general, you want to push the stones toward your wall. Um, so you can try to build a wall on the other side that's like parallel to it or something. Uh, I'm not sure what that means here. But you want to like, I don't know, the, but like I was going to say, if um, my stones were like a little distant from this wall, you start throwing stones from the other side, and then you can connect either atop or below, um, and try to connect 
from the right to left building some kind of bridge or net around the stones. Go back to D2. I, yes, I would like to. So let's look at D2. Our resident expert, the Llama Lord. No. Um, uh, our de-rusted champion. Uh, it's going to tell us what the heck is going on here, because I can't figure it out. Like, this is crazy. I've never seen a go position that resembles this. I mean, I was plenty amused um, by uh, the AlphaGo Lisa Doll game one, when there was just like fighting everywhere. Um, it feels like White has played this even more irrationally somehow. All right, my chat device is telling me I got 15 minutes left on it <laughs> before it powers off. Uh, I should have plugged it in. Oops. All right, so. E2, F2. F2, oh, okay. E4. Oh, that's the point of E2, is you're trying to consume this stone. Okay. E4, E1. E1, and F5. Well, we'll put it on the board, first of all. See, I've gotten sliced in half here. Um, so if I grab the stone on E2, that's what happens. If I just connect, like, here... F5 is still going to Atari me anyway. I'm going to be forced to take that E2 stone sooner or later. Um, okay, so that's Atari. Let's un-Atari ourselves and get atari again and un-Atari. And, um, so now what? I might have misplayed something. Let me back up a touch. Um... Are we still playing e4 here? Is e4 still the thing? Yeah, I don't think e2 strengthens black. It certainly does threaten to slice white in half, but it takes uh, three moves for black to capture any stone there. Oh, okay, okay. Um, now that's interesting, though. The, um, there's probably some way to make this work. Like, what if we start this way instead? Now, the other thing is, like, if you take two of these three points, I can take the third one, right? So, okay, maybe we do start uh, E4, except that's self-Atari, so we can't do that. What if we start here? But then I take E4. Like, I guess if I get in a bind, I can take E4, but I don't want to take it. I'd much rather play this sort of stuff. Um, so, okay, that's why E2. I'm bad at reading. So that's why I'm like trying stuff out and then trying to analyze it afterward. Yeah, it takes three moves to take those, and meanwhile I can do this. Um, we're not going to self Atari. Okay, this is Atari here. This is Atari. I think the only reason this is working is because like, I have this E7 stone to hold everything together. So I'm starting to think D2 is just, like, strong. How much earlier C6 is what Black should have played. Yeah, so I might have actually played a decent game here. Um, so this started like this. Okay, we opened with a large knight. Large knights are... Okay, we opened with two large knights. 
it's a beautiful shape. Um, it works better on a 19 by 19 board, I think. We had two large knights, and then we connected with we, an attachment um, and some more attachments. Okay. Yeah, I think um, long term you're right that all my stones, which are like diagonally spaced and have a one space jump in between them, long term uh, that's a weakness. Short term, um, this is like what happens if you got a chessboard and like your minor pieces are stuck in the corner and you got this pawn chain of your pawns that's like preventing your minor pieces from moving anywhere. You've like trapped your C7 stone, you've trapped your G3 stone. It's a long-term advantage, but um, it's difficult to see how you're going to build anything from it. Um, after D6, then C6. Okay. So this is how we try to... Oh, right. That did occur to me during the game, actually. I freaked out. I had no idea what I was going to do. And then after the game, I'm like, yeah, I played so awesomely. What, what could have ever gone wrong? How could I have ever misplayed? Yeah, no, this... You're right. So I lose my C5 stone. Eh, it's a stone. Whatever. Um, uh, more importantly, I have no territory. Um, yeah, that puts everything I've done to shame. Like, instantly. <laughs> it's pretty great. Um, okay. Um, D6 seems pretty good. wasn't sure if we'd be able to hold the left side and still manage to make anything on the right side. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's say I play this. So you've certainly collected my C5 stone. There's no need to immediately collect on it. Um, would I even want to play g5 or would I want to like play e2 first or something? I think I'd want to try to keep these stones separated. Um, but that gives you time to do stuff like this, I guess. So maybe I do want to play something like that instead. And knowing me, I would just play here and, like, let all heck break loose. But that doesn't seem wise. Um, okay, so just out of curiosity. Uh, I don't know, something like this. Like, I built this nice little stick in the middle of the board. Um, I have zero territory. And... A ridiculous number of weak points. Um, yeah, this doesn't quite work at all. Um, I cut the force. Also, not that great for white. Yeah, so there's like cut points everywhere. Um, it's possible. I did not play the best moves this game. Um, I still kind of like what could have happened with D2, but that's like just a complete fluke that I had this. Uh, and then I didn't even play it. Like by this point, I had so tripped myself out about what's going on here that... Um, I could not think rationally anymore. I just like played c4. I'm not sure why. It did connect two stones together. 
it did kind of look like it might get one space of territory here on b5. Um, but, uh, yeah. In for a penny, in for a pound, I'd have to like play d2. And it probably actually works. Um, oh yeah, yeah. F4 was just retarded. Um, well, just... it. Well, I'm not so sure. It's one thing to say, like, if I play e4, and if we just assume he plays that, then yeah. Um, I don't think he's going to play uh, g4 here. I think he might do this. Um, yeah. I don't know. Right. But also, um, like, I don't think this peep was anything to be afraid of. Um, I don't know. Just a guess. If I had to assume and or guess things. Well, looks like my chat device is going to power off in a minute or two here. We've played a lot of interesting games of Go today. Um... Uh, I was, I don't know, I, I didn't even think that, based on that miss scoring at the end, I didn't think that would actually swing the outcome in my favor. I thought I was just going to lose by less. Um, but that's my mistake. Uh, we had a lot of interesting games here today. A lot of tactics. Uh, thanks to everybody for joining. Thanks for commentary. Sorry to all the better players who are watching this and just shaking their heads. Um, but check it out. We've got a rating. Let's go to our profile. Yeah, I got a ranking. We got a rating. Well, I don't know. We might not have a ranking or something. We're still uh, over 80 rating deviation. Oh, there we are. 15Q. So here's our improvement graph. Cool stuff. Uh, yeah. So, this rate, if we just keep this line going straight up forever, we'll make like 9 Don and... I don't know. I was going to make some joke about it like being really easy, but this is actually a pretty um, shallow graph. Can we zoom in on the end of it? Can we, like... Yeah, here we go. Can we zoom on the very tail end of this? Uh, so, oh, well, apparently I didn't gain rating or something to, I don't know. This doesn't seem like a very sharp upward trend. I was hoping to be able to exaggerate this for comedic effect and then say we're going to make nine Don in like a week. Um, but that's not happening. So anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. It's been fun. Um, we'll see you next time. Have a good night.